going on? My name is Lauren if you're new here. If not, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to style pleated mini skirts. Spring is right around the corner, so I figured this was the perfect time to make this video. And pleated skirts are it right now. I am telling you guys, these are literally one of my favorite pieces to wear. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, and there's just tons of versatility that lies in a pleated skirt. So, if you guys need some styling ideas for pleated mini skirts, then keep watching. Before we go any further, guys, please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I normally post style videos just like this one every Sunday, and on Wednesdays, I do vlogs or sit down videos. First and foremost, I wanted to show you guys this new Vivian Westwood necklace that I got. It's actually a dupe that I got for $30, and I will link where I got it. This is everything you guys i can wear this necklace with anything and i swear it just makes me feel like that much cuter i don't know like sweatshirts casual t-shirts that's the thing is most necklaces in my opinion just don't look good with casual outfits but this one oh anytime i'm going to the grocery store dressed like a bum i put this on and then i'm like it's fine now I'm cute, you know what I mean? Definitely will link this for you guys because this is a staple that I'm literally gonna be wearing all the time now and you just need it, you need it. This is our first look and I added on this beige blazer. It's just like a long oversized blazer. And with this, something I really want you guys to pay attention to is how well it looks with a turtleneck. I feel like just the change in length here looks really nice. Like I feel like if this was like a V-neck, it just wouldn't be the same. So as long as it's like a turtleneck, it doesn't matter if it's a short sleeve. And I honestly like that it's a short sleeve because I feel like it looks like a little bit more stylish to just leave it off one shoulder. I really like the color variation here. It's lots of like browns and greens and then the black just kind of like pops. I'm gonna be wearing the same mini skirt in all of them. Hi Fluff. This is my buddy. She's going to be involved in the video. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna wear the same pleated mini skirt in all of the looks so you guys can see different ways you can mix and match. I love the way the chunky boots look with pleated skirts or just skirts in general, but especially a pleated skirt, I feel like it just flares out and it makes your legs look even slimmer than they really are. But yeah, this is our first look. Okay, so this is our next outfit. And this one, I just put on like a basic white tank top and my sweater sleeves. This one's really cute if you don't feel like wearing a jacket and you just want something that you don't have to like hold on to. I feel like the blazer sometimes is like annoying to have to like hold on to. So this is really good if you aren't into that and you still wanna be warm. And I just feel like the socks make it a little bit sporty too. And the white shoes tie together with the shirt to make it pop. And just together, again, we're going with like beiges and greens. They complement each other really well. This is like my tennis girl fit. So just like with the blazer one, it's really important to notice the difference in layers here. If you're going to layer, you wanna make sure that you actually see all the layers. That's really what it comes down to. But yeah, this is what I came up with for this look. And with this one, I actually wore my platform loafers and knee-high socks. So this is kind of like a little schoolgirl fit, but I really love how girly it is. I love that it's different. You could also wear this with like a regular t-shirt, but what I like about this is since the turtleneck is so slimming, you can still see your figure and you're still casual and loose with the sweater vest. So I think it's a good little combination. I actually did add a little white mini purse. I feel like it helps tie together the turtleneck. Since we're wearing black shoes, I feel like I just needed something to make the turtleneck pop, but I don't have white loafers, so this is what we came up with. And I wore the knee highs to kind of match something to the black loafers since I have a little white going on up here. But the gold accents on the bag, as well as my necklace and my jewelry, and on the loafers really help tie everything together too. I 
Okay, so this is our very last look, and this one I just did a collared shirt with a baggy sweatshirt. This one's super casual and honestly really plain colored. Like it's very beige and green and white and there's not a lot of color to it. So I decided to add my colorful mid AF ones. I feel like this just looks really cute and different and just something I would definitely wear. So just make sure that the collar is like completely tucked. As you can see, it starts to come out. That just isn't the vibe. So I grab it and I push down all of it besides the actual collar part. So it just looks like you can see the collar and the little sleeves. And then I put my hair up because I feel like it looks good up whenever you're wearing collar things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and got some outfit ideas to wear with pleated mini skirts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys got some inspo for how to wear pleated mini skirts this spring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and got some Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and got some inspo for how to wear your pleated mini skirts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and got some inspo for how to wear your pleated mini skirts this spring. Again, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.